Well, IVI, Independent Voters Illinois, got started, I think, I'm not at complete, right after World War II by white, generally uh, Jewish young men like Milk Cohen, Saul Middleson, and others who had served, who had been to Europe already in the, uh, what became known as the uh, Lincoln Brigade, Abraham Lincoln Brigade, when Jews were being attacked in Portugal. IPO starts, as far as I remember, and my memory, oh, that's good anymore, during the Hell Washington campaign and was started in the same, with the same idea and inspiration that IBI had been. IPO was more or less west side. IBI was more or less south side. But the leadership of both organizations were friends. I'm Dick Simpson, professor of political science, University of Illinois at Chicago, and a former Chicago alderman. My name is Timuel, T-I-M-U-E-L, B, Black and David, Black, B-L-A-C, born in Birmingham, Alabama, December the 7th, 1918. I first became an IBI IPO member in 1968. Uh, so it's been 51 years. On the north side, IVI was mostly a cocktail group. Um, they would get together, they would talk, they would sometimes they would endorse, but they really couldn't uh, affect the outcome of elections very strongly. They had never elected an independent on the north side of Chicago that wasn't already endorsed by one of the two parties. So we changed all of that, taking the participatory aspects of the McCarthy campaign and infusing it into some of the practices of IVI and built our own organization which lasted a decade and elected more than 20 people to key offices statewide as well as locally. And we endorsed many other candidates uh, who were good candidates and we helped with their election. So we became important breaking the machine on the north side of Chicago. IVI IPO has stalled. It has not got the traction that it should have. Uh, it still has progressive ideals, it still has some good structures left over from the past, but it takes new leadership, new vision, and a very specific agenda. And it comes to the 2020 election. Uh, IVI IPO will either become irrelevant after the 2020 election or it'll play a major role, not only in the electing of a new president, but up and down the entire ballot, particularly congressmen in some of the suburban areas. Uh, where it's uncertain whether the Democrats who won seats will be able to keep them. The future is in your hands. What do you want that future to be like? And IVI, IPO exemplifies the possibilities through the successful political work done to elect independent politicians into high office. We need the continuation of the tradition of IBI, IPO in the political world.